Just tell us the name of the buyer. I'm sorry. I, I can't. I, I don't remember who bought it. Okay, you just told us how special the necklace was. You described it in detail. How could you not remember who bought it? It was a long time ago. But, please, my father's exhausted. Just leave him alone. Right. Okay. Well, thanks for your help. Sorry, Balsam. I thought we were so close. We are. Otto's line. We're fresh out of soda. And don't you have to get home before curfew? Yeah, I guess I should get going. Um, I want to see my Uncle Todd before I go home. Um, but I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow at prom, huh? I'm glad you're going with Brody. Uh -huh. It was really nice talking to you. Mm, me too. See ya. Thanks. That is one interesting girl. I do hope Jessica has a good time with Brody. Mm-hmm. And reconnects with him. Me too. Brody's a good guy. He gets that in Jessica's head she's still a teenage girl and he's a man. He would never take advantage of that situation. Well, if you're not going to prom, then neither am I. Likes to no, 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 no. I already made up my mind. Don't even try okay, and change just it. Just because I'm going to be miserable in prom, it doesn't mean that you have to be too. Okay, but I'm not going to leave you here all alone. I'm not going to be alone. I'll be here with hope. While her father's in jail? Yeah, that'll be a good night. Look, start. No, listen. You are my best friend in the whole world, okay? I'm gonna stick by you no matter what. And if you think that Hannah's lying about seeing your dad, then I am right behind you. Even if it's a pretty extreme thing to do just because she likes a guy. It's not so extreme for a girl to try to kill herself over a guy. What? What are you talking about? I wasn't supposed to tell you that, but all bets are off. Uh, Hannah swallowed a bunch of pills after Ford dumped her. How do you, how do you know that? Because Cole found her in her room, and he kept her awake and took care of her and everything like that, and she made him promise not to tell anyone. But he told you. Of course he did. He felt so guilty after keeping it from me for a while that he told me the truth. Oh God, I can't believe that Hannah was about to throw her whole life away over just some... I. Yeah. Oh, she really is nuts. I mean, her and Ford never even had anything serious. Because Ford wasn't in town long enough for that to happen. Yeah, you know, it's a good thing uh, you broke up with Ford when you did. Kind of might be after you, too. <laughs> hey, look, you gotta have faith, Cole. Things are gonna work out between you and Star. I don't see how. No matter how much I love her. Look, you're just mad at her now because of, because of everything. But dude, she is the one. You know that, right? Oh, all I ever want to do is make her happy. You know? Tomorrow night's a problem. I wanted to be so special for her. Yeah, I, I almost feel guilty about going through with my plans with Langston, knowing everything that you and Star are going through. Don't. Man, you deserve to have a good time. Thanks, man. But you know, more than that, I owe it to my girl. Langston's had a real rough time lately. Rough time? But Langston is... really lucky to have you. So am I. No sweat. But you better get going. You heard what um, Brody said. Yeah, all right. Hey, hang in there, man. I will. Are you offering to make a deal with me? I'm just saying... I don't trust you any more than I can throw you. Much in my condition is, uh... Not as far as you push, Dr. Saybrook. Anna, the only reason you'd ever consider changing this story is because you know it's a lie. My lawyer's gonna rip you to shreds in court. She's gonna make you out to be some... scheming nutjob. 
who I know popped a bottle of pills when her boyfriend dumped her. What? How, how did you... I know everything, and I'm not going to make a deal with you. I don't have to. I'm going to get out of here. And when I do, you better watch your ass.